Okay, I'm sorry, but like I have to do this video because like I waited four months for this thing. Four months! Four months. Four months. And it came in from Russia. And this ain't no joke. This is not like a little thing. This is some serious stuff right here. God. All right. I didn't even know how to start, but like I already know that the, I don't even have to open this box to know that I'm so excited and I have some motivation to ride around now. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to share it with everybody one by one. Um, God, man, I can't believe it came in. What am I supposed to do? I, I'm afraid to open it because I'm so excited, but I'll go ahead and do it. here and I'm just gonna kind of um now it's a day later so you can hear in my voice I'm still excited I still love the helmet um, but I got those jitters out everything I was able to ride it yesterday um, but let me just tell you that I'm just gonna tell you everything that comes with the package so I got this luminescent and don't mind my thumb it got caught in a sprocket when I was cleaning the chain so I'm growing a new nail wonderful right um, it came with this packet telling you that, hey, it's luminescent, blah, 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 right? Which is nice of them. They tell you that, it, you know, you, uh, all the lights that you have that come with it, um, including, which I, I didn't even realize until today that it comes with two red in the back, which I really like. It's kind of really nice. It takes four AAA batteries, okay? And those AAA batteries for the luminescent go in this module right here. Ugh. They go right, they go right in here. It comes in this, okay? This right here plugs into a, the side of your helmet and you can rather throw it um, inside uh, your shirt or your motorcycle jacket or what I did yesterday is I tucked it up in my helmet. I threw it up in there because I was wearing a t-shirt. I tucked it up in my helmet and I rode it at night. So that's this. Um, I can go over some more stuff here. It's, it has a lot of different settings you can do when you turn it on to uh, uh, change the light, make it flash a little bit faster or what, whatnot. Really cool feature. But I have bad news for you. The Phantom no longer sells the luminescent. They stopped. If you go to the website, they no longer have it. I don't know why. They took it off. I was like the, one of the last people to get it and gosh, I'm thankful for that. But it kind of makes me sad in case I ever wanted to buy another one. I, I really would like the Luminescent. That's why I got it. I really wanted the Luminescent. It's just something about it. It gives it this type of alien type of kind of charisma to it. You know what I mean? Um, but it still looks great without it. Okay. I also was given extra... Um, Dreads, which was nice. I like how it makes this crackling noise. This is kind of like a cheap styrofoam type of thing. And then you got, I got the bear claws. I think that's what they're called. Um, hopefully I'll never have to use these. By the way, for, even right now, the initial, when I open that box up, you got this initial smell of like, it, it smelled like paint, but like almost like, a, um, it must be the new helmet smell. But I could just smell it. Even last night as I was sleeping, I was like, oh, man, I, I'm smelling it. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. It was it was like, it's pretty strong. So it takes some time to get used to that smell. But I'm sure that that will go away. Um, what else did we get here? I got an owner's manual for this type of helmet, which is still the HJC TR1. Okay. Um, 
didn't really read this. Uh, it was self-explanatory how to attach a helmet and it fit great. That's the point. And in case you don't know, they yes, they infuse a half motorcycle helmet, like one of those not full face ones, but the um, open face helmets. And then they uh, build the actual uh, fiberglass Predator design all around it. So it's a really cool concept. And you probably already know that if you've watched other videos. Excuse my fingers for being in the way. I'm not the best at these things. It, oh, I don't even know how, but it fit into this beautiful um, satin type of uh, uh, whatever you call it, a little bag that you can put your uh, your helmet in. But I'm never going to put it in there. I'm just going to kind of keep mine indoors. Um, and. It, and another little thing they talked about, um, uh, they have a little uh, baggie here that kind of tells you uh, where each dread goes um, to help you in case you you know, want to replace them. Kind of cool. So those are all the um, instructions that were given. You really shouldn't need that if you're mechanically or electrically inclined. Okay. So that's that part. I'm going to be right back in a few and I'm going to go ahead and just show you the uh, actual helmet. Okay, welcome back. All right, I'll describe exactly like what I ordered when I ordered the Phantom. I ordered the base Phantom. You choose your size. I got a small head, so I chose small. That's the smallest one. Though the helmet itself makes it look like you have a bigger head. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind that it is a larger helmet than your typical helmets you got, okay? But it's worth it. So what I did, all the features I did on this particular helmet was I got the luminescence, which goes around here, okay? And in the back, you have the red, where is it? They are back here. Here, where is it? There they are. See how it's red? So you have red. Um, so that all lights up. I also was uh, thinking really hard. Do I want the spikes? And I said, you know what? If you're gonna order this helmet, you're gonna pay that much money. Go all out. So I got the spikes put on. And then I also got the ruins. These are called ruins. These little scars here. It just looks like some alien type of weirdness, right? That's why I liked it. I really wanted to have that type of extraterrestrial look because we all know Predator is a mean mother. Um, I was chose the black visor. You can choose a night one. I chose a black. In the back here is a little tab. You can just simply push it and it just snaps it right off so you have now nothing okay so it's pretty cool it's really cool i love that i also had to get a scar it does not ruin the appearance of the helmet it it's beautiful the painting is gorgeous so i got that put on there as well things you're going to have to do oh and by the way yes it's a little strap there that you strap in under your chin, buckles in. Very easy, much easier than my other uh, go-to helmet that I use all the time. Um, now, here's the extra features that you're going to have to do yourself. You're going to have to, it's not that hard, you just take a Phillips head and unscrew these guys here and get a good battery in there. This one takes what we have as it, it looks like an N battery, but it's not. I tried it and it didn't work. And the company called, uh, emailed me back, thank you guys, and told me that it takes, it needs a 12 volt V23. I could not find a V23, so I found an A23, 12 volts at Lowe's, and I tried it and it worked. So it comes with a beautiful laser beam if you want to add that as a feature. And this thing is bright. It is bright, my fellas, okay? It's shooting all the way over there, okay? And here, let's get a close up, okay? There it is, there she is, okay? Don't mess around with Predator, because he will blast you out of this world, okay? So, 
There's my little uh, laser. Now as for the luminescent, I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna put it back on my ironing board, okay? Because I have no tables in this apartment because this apartment's about the size of your bathroom. But when life throws you lemons sometimes, you gotta deal with it, right? <laughs> Thank goodness we have small things like this. You know, every once in a while that can kind of boost our spirit. This this helped me a lot during this coronavirus. Um, and I hope that everyone here is safe during this time and your families are all right and you're handling it the best you can because it's, it's not easy for a lot of people. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to show you the luminescent next. That's the last feature. Okay, I've attached the luminescence now. You attach it right here on the side, there's a little cord. And then if there's a little button down here you push, and that um, activates it. But then before all that, you still have to mess around with this box right here and just get to know it. You first just turn on the power down here, click it up. But then you have to realize there's other buttons. These are the, this is the mode button at the top here, and this is like the sensitivity little uh, screw here. The first ball up is just when you push this button, you're going to have just constant luminescence. So I'll show you the whole entire thing. Okay. That's just constant luminescence. Now, as I'm looking at the camera, it looks bluer than what I'm seeing. When I see it, it's a little bit sh like an aqua color, but it is blue. It just looks bluer in this camera. Okay. Now I've never seen this before, so I'm going to come to the back because it should have yeah, the red lights in the back. That's so cool. I love it. I did not know that they had that. All right. Now, if you push it again, what it's going to do is strobe. So now you can strobe it away and have fun with it. You know, you could ride down like that. Look badass when you're um, going down the road. You got some flashing, strobing. Uh, kind of cool, right? But, if you really want to have fun, you can have this voice activated. Now, I'm never going to use this feature. Boo! Send me two time. My name is Mr. Darth Vader. Send me two time. Okay, it's pretty cool. So, those are your features, okay? That's all the options you have. I push it one more time and now it's not even doing anything because I shut off everything. I'm going to shut this off now. I'm going to push the button down here and I'm going to unplug it. That's your luminescence buddies. Okay. That's your luminescence. Um, so that's the whole entire, um, helmet review basically. Um, probably long and tedious, but I really wanted to give you a good insight on what it's like. Okay. Um, you can oh yeah, you can also twist off the dreads. They all come they twist off on their own. Um, replacements that unfortunately you're gonna have to order them from the company, so you're gonna have to wait some time. Shipping time, I was really impressed with um at first I was worried because I ordered it in I ordered it in May, at the like May twenty fourth I ordered it, right? And now it's August third, so or fourth. So that's how long it took. But you have to realize this is a custom made bike, so it, it took they say 21 days, but it took even longer, it took about 30 days, third about a month, a little bit over a month just to manufacture it and create it for me. And I emailed them and they, they emailed me back saying, Hey, you have luminescent, you know, it takes a little bit more time, it's a hard process. So I understand that, and you know what? Look, look what look at the result, it, it was worth it. Um, and then they instantly sent it out and I got it among this whole COVID right now from Russia, no lie, just over two weeks. That's fast. That is fast. I was like, well, you know, um, I was surprised and I ordered another helmet from Russia and it still hasn't come in yet. And they sent theirs before Rezor did. So props to Rezor, whatever they used or however they got it out, it came out fast. But just realize you're going to have to wait some time right now um, until this, this virus kind of goes away. Hopefully, good God. 
you know? But if you want a good mask, you know, to keep you uh, safe, I shouldn't say that. I can't endorse saying that to walk around with this instead of a face mask is better. But let me tell you something. You do get looks. I, I just I took this out just for an hour and a half last night to Hoboken. If anybody's familiar with that area of New Jersey. Um, and I had, there was someone just instantly who started recording me. He was videotaping me on his phone. And I was like, I didn't know what to say. I was, I was like, this is interesting. But then I realized, oh yeah, because I have this helmet on. So it's going to cause attention. Um, but anyhow, you guys all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching this. Um, any questions or whatnot. Go ahead and respond. Thanks, props to ZX Predator for um, his awesome reviews. He's got wonderful uh, a setup there with many, many helmets from this company. If you want to check out him, if you haven't already, I'm sure you have. Um, and props to Rezzer Customs. Thank you so much. I am so grateful that you guys, you know, added a little bit of sparkle into uh, my day, my writing. This will be a fun thing to take out every once in a while. But I gotta take care of it. You gotta take care of it. Um, all right, guys, take care. Thank you for watching.